use use in set theory and form logic also known as the separations axiom or principles in set theory and formal logic it is a fundamental axiom used to define mathematical constructions and reasons about sets it states that for any set a and any property p there exists a set b whose elements and parts Recently, those elements of A that satisfy property P, it allows us to define a subset of a given set based on a specific property or conditions. It is a powerful tool in set theory as it allows us to create subsets of sets based on certain conditions of properties. It enables us to define and reasons about set in a precise and logical manner. Class operation refers to a set operation that is performed on classes of sets. In this class operation are set operations that are performed on collections of sets known as classes. These operations allow us to combine, compare, or manipulate classes of sets rather than individual sets. Meron tayong apat na common class operation. It is an intersections of set, union of set, complement of a set, difference of sets. Um, so first, when we say intersections of set, the intersection of sets A and B written A and B. Um, take note, in our symbols, it looks like inverted U. This is the set containing elements that are in both A and B. So, pag sinabi nating intersections of set, ito, ito yun. Titignan natin kung ano yung mga elements na na kay A at na kay B. In other words, pag sinabi nating intersection, meron silang common elements. Example number one. A is equal to 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. B is equal to 2, 3, 5, 7, and 11. So, ano ang common elements nila? Pareho silang may 3, 5, 7. So, therefore, the intersections of set A and B is equal to 3, 5, 7. So, again, kapag sinabi nating intersection, common elements. Now, we can also show represent intersection set using Venn diagram. Paano, it, paano ito? So, in sets A, my 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. In set B, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. When we say using Venn diagram, ang una natin laging lalagay ay kung ano ang common elements nila o yung tinatawag nating intersections. So, ano nga ba ang intersections? 3, 5, 7. Doon natin ilalag ilalagay sa gitna. Na kung saan nag-overlap sila, the interception must be placed at the center of two sets. So, nandun siya sa gitna, sa Venn diagram. Kung saan nag-overlap yung dalawang bilog mo, and then, ano yung elements ni A na wala kay B? We have 1 and 9. So, yung ang, so, ang ilalagay natin kay A at ang ilalagay natin kay B ay 2 and 11. Um, this example also show that joint set. Bakit natin tinawag na joint set? Kapag sila ay may parehong common element o pagkakapareho, ibig sabihin ay joint set. Pinatawag natin doon. Example number 2, A is equal to 1, 3, 5, 7. B is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So, what is the intersection of A and B? Anong meron? 
kay A na meron kay B, wala. So, ibig sabihin, the intersections of A and B is empty set. Since wala silang common element, this is empty sets. In Venn diagram, makikita dito na hindi magkadikit since wala silang common element. Hindi sila pagdidikitin. Ito ay example of disjoint set. Uh, intersect Union of sets. Kapag sinabi natin union of set, A and B written A, take note our symbols it's look like U. Is the set of all elements that are in A or in B or in both A and B. So kapag sinabi natin all elements, we will combine all the elements na nasa A at nasa B. Kung ano ang elements ni A and ni elements ni B ay pagsama-samahin lang natin. In set example, A is equal to 1, 3, 5, 7. B is, is, is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. The, mapapansin nyo na bakit hindi um, A is union B is equal to 2, 3, 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7. Mapapansin nyo bakit hindi dalawang 1 inilagay ko. When we are combining or we when getting the union, kapag kinuha natin yung union without repetition nito, so kahit nakita ito kay A at kay B, since pagsasamahin natin siya, kapag isang 1 lang ilagay natin, same at 3. So the union of A and B is 1. 2, 3, 4, 5. So again, kapag sinabi natin union, we are combining the elements. Pagsama-samahin natin siya, okay? So paano natin mapapakita using Venn diagram? So set A and B, since the common nila ay 1 and 3, again, sinasabi kong mayroon silang common elements. Ilalagay natin sa gitna na nag-overlap ang 1 and 3, ang common elements nila. Ang meron kay A is 5 and 7 and 4B, 2 and 4. So regardless of, si iniisip natin ang intersection ito, ang concern natin dito ay we will combine elements. Pero kapag pinapakita mo siya as a Venn diagram, dapat may pakita mo no, mapakita mong overlap siya o merong, inter merong intersection. Intersection ka kami based sa given. Meron silang elements at, Elements, pero since ang tinatanong ay union, we will just combine the elements. Complement of a set. A complement of set A, written A. So, mapapansin nyo, ay my apostrophe. Ayan. So, ang complement of a, this is the set, all elements in the universal set that are not in A. Ibig sabihin ng complement, sinabing complement of set A, ano raw yung wala sa set A na meron sa universal set. In short, kakailangan natin dito ng universal set kapag sinabing universal set, siya yung kabuuan kapag tinatanong what is complement set A, ano wala, ano? Ang wala sa set A pero sa no, set A pero nasa universal set. Example Example A is equal to 2 4 B is 2 3 4 C is 1 2 3 4 5 D is equal to empty set. The complement of set A, again, kapag sinabi natin complement, wala siya sa set A, pero nasa universal set. So, the complement set A, balikan natin ang set A. Ang laman niya ay 2 and 4. Ano ang wala sa set A, pero nasa universal set? Ang 
Ito ay 1, 3, 5. It is an complement A, 1, 3, 5. Then complement of set B, kapag sinabi natin complement set B, balikan natin ang B, meron siyang 2, 3, 4. So ano ang wala sa B pero naka-universal set? Wala siyang 1 and 5. The complement of B is equal to 1 and 5. Complement of set C, balikan natin si C. Set C, meron siyang 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Meron, meron bang wala sa set C pero meron sa universal set? Wala. Wala na, diba? Kasi kompleto siya in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, ibig sabihin, ang sagot natin is empty set. The complement C is equal to empty set. Next set. D, any set D natin ay empty set. Therefore, kapag tinatanong what is complement of set D, ano, ano ang wala kay set D na meron sa universal set? So, so wala siyang 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Lahat wala Please siya. Po, Ms. Mingarine, nakonsume muna po yung time mo for 10 minutes. So let's move to the next presenter na po. Wait lang naman po. Uh, di pa nga ako tapos. That's per instruction for of our instructor po kasi per 10 minutes per person. Okay, sir. Basta matapos. Eh, nag-interrupt nga ako kanina. Anong gagawin ko? Oh. E, kapag ikaw yung nag-anon. Kaya nga po, di ba nag-interrupt and naging okay na po. Nagbigay po tayo doon ng 10 minutes. So, okay na po yung 10 minutes mo po doon. I'll pass. Go lang, ituloy lang. Kasi hindi pa siya tapos kay Paradox, ituloy na lang para ano si Sir. Parang kasi ano. In set D, ang set D natin ay empty set. Therefore, kapag tinanong what is complement of set D, ano, ano ang wala kay set D na mayroon sa universal set? So, so, wala siyang 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Lahat wala sa kanya. So, ayan ang complement niya. Ang complement D is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Difference of two sets, the difference of two sets, A and B written A minus B in this order is the set of elements which belong to A but not belong to B. Kapag sinabi natin different, ibig sabihin, nat, ibig sabihin ito kung ano yung nasa set na tatanggalin mo siya doon sa doon. Pero babawasan mo. Halimbawa, A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. One is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And B is 2, 3, 5. A minus B, kung ano ang element ni B na na kay A, tatanggalin natin siya. For the word difference, so magbabawas tayo, take away. So 1 minus B, A minus B, ano yung element B na, B, element B na meron kay A, pero...
Pareho silang tubi. Tatanggalin natin yung yon So, ano na lang ang makikita na kay A? A minus B is equal to 1 and 4. In B minus A, ano naman ang elements ni A na mayroon kay B? So, ganun pa rin. Kung ang elements ni A na mayroon kay B ay 2 and 5. Therefore, ano lamang natira kay B? It's 3. Okay? Ano ang palatandaan nito kung ano ang first letter Kung ano yung nasa unahan, doon, ka, doon mo titingnan kung ano ang natira na elements. In Russell Paradox, Most Famous Logical Paradox the paradox arises by considering the set of all sets that are not member of themselves such as set appears to be a members of set itself. If, if and only if it is not a member of itself, hence the paradox. Ayon kay Russell paradox serves as a member of the importance of content, consistency and precision in defining mathematical concept and the need to establish rigorous foundations in mathematical system. It, it, example, consider a group of barbers who shave only those men who do not shave themselves. Suppose there in a barber in, the, in this collection who does not shave himself, then by the defining of the collection, he must have himself but no barber in the collection can shave himself. If so, we would be a man who does not shave men who shave themselves. Thank you. Next.